that most people have the idea of ministry as a man who stands behind the pulpit and ministers to a congregation of people who are focusing on him no not at all the pulpit only became a necessary tool as a channel to help ministry become effective if a man's ministry will only depend on the pulpit then it means that ministry is not effective are we blessed the essence of ministry in its in its most basic form i'm trying to be as simple as possible ministry has to do with kingdom service the service of his majesty any effort and contribution geared towards kingdom come any effort and contribution geared towards the revelation of the christ and the glorification of the same is ministry so in the most basic form and idea ministry has to do with the service and any effort that comes as a contribution please understand this we have to get these concepts right ministry has nothing to do with holding a mic necessarily any contribution that supports the revelation of the Christ and the glorification of the same is called ministry. That means if the womb of a woman can be available to birth a prophet, the act of that pregnancy is called ministry. Are we together now? That means if the money of a man can support the advancement of the kingdom, that giving is called ministry. If the voice of a man becomes a tool to communicate the counsel of God and to disciple and mentor nations to the end that the purposes of God be understood, that act of communication is called ministry. So ministry is called ministry not by the channels but by the motivation and the goal. It is the motivation and the goal that makes anything ministry, not the activity an activity can be religious but it is not ministry from god's standpoint anything qualifies to be ministry when the motivation behind that activity and the goal the end product of that activity is the revelation of the christ and the glorification of the same it is called thy kingdom come that is the agenda so it's important are we together now this is very important as as little as this introduction is this is deliverance from confusion as to you know when people say what am i called to do this revelation already begins to give you a bearing because our focus is usually the activity so when we say i want me to do ministry what what we really are thinking is i want to be involved in the activity that that is closest to religion are we blessed any effort any contribution any participation that is motivated by a genuine love for god and a desire to see his kingdom come to the end that jesus be revealed and jesus be glorified is called ministry so a minister is the name given to one who has sustained that ability first his love for god his desire to see the kingdom come ministry that means that the activity is not really where the credence come from it is the motivation and the end of it this is very powerful because we live in a context today that has defined certain activities to represent ministry and once you are not involved in those activities it becomes very difficult for you to believe that you are ministering this is the reason why there are many people who have forced themselves into we're going to deal with that shortly into activities that they were not graced for and the reason is because 
there has been an age-long um, communication that for you to do ministry you must find a way of searching for a pulpit that is available and is in front of you and you must find a way of gathering a crowd that pledge their loyalty to you and agree that you'll be head over them if you go through that laborious process they clap for you and say you are in ministry unfortunately both the agenda of god and the times that we live in is changing this narrative are we blessed amen so ministry has to do with your motivation and the end result any contribution any and every scriptural means deployed to see to it that his kingdom comes to see to it that the Christ is revealed and the Christ is glorified. Whatever that contribution is qualifies to be called ministry. Hallelujah. So it is possible that a woman's whole ministry and assignment will be to get pregnant and give birth to three children. Because those three children can be the prophets for the next for the generation concern and you will be surprised that the entire dealings of that woman with the holy spirit would be for her to make sure she marries the right man gets pregnant at the right time and deliver those children oh mary if you had failed in your assignment you would not know that you were it was more than a baby oh joseph for farimathea to know that god prospered you only because a time would come that your influence and your wealth will bring down the body of the Christ from the cross. That is ministry. Oh, Simon of Cyrene, to know that the energy that was given to you and the health was so that you will help to carry the cross of he that had now become seen on his way to Golgotha. Ministry. Hallelujah. It is important because you know, Pastor, many people continue to feel guilty. And sincerely, even sometimes we men of God, as sincere as we are, sometimes we make the mistake of pushing people out of the authentic revelation of ministry into the conventional context. So someone would say, the Lord is leading me to serve his purposes this way. But there is already a context that if you are, especially when the title of a pastor, apostle, prophet, or anyone is behind your name, that title creates a pressure that compels you to have to conform to the tradition of ministry. Hallelujah. So ministry has nothing necessarily to do with a church setting, a pastor standing in front of people, a congregation listening. No. Ministry has to do with the revelation and the glorification of the Christ. And any contribution towards kingdom come to that end is called ministry.